When we get old, we lose our energy, strength, and everything becomes harder. Physical activities like walking become much more tedious, and we love sleeping even more. Our family and relatives don't have a lot of time for us, therefore often we'll get bored and feel lonely. In this period of our life, the best thing is having a dog. Benefits are endless. They motivate us to be more active. So we'll not only be fit, but even the chances of having health problems will be smaller. According to studies, seniors who own a dog have lower blood pressure and lower levels of cholesterol. It's been proven that hanging out with dogs has revitalizing effects and may reduce stress and other problems. Besides, you'll have much more opportunities to get to know new people. From Chihuahua, the smallest dog breed, to the Great Dane, the biggest one. There exist over 330 dog breeds, but which are the ideal ones to get when you're a senior? Which of them has the energy, patience, and right size? Let's find out. A very loving and adaptable dog is Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. This tiny dog is the happiest when cuddling with its owner. This breed usually weighs around four to six kilograms and it's easily trained. Because it has little maintenance requests, it's an ideal dog for seniors. Cavaliers have been called after King Charles II. They had a special relationship. It's said that Cavaliers used to follow the king everywhere he went. They were allowed to enter anywhere and often the king neglected his kingdom to take care of them. However, if you're more active, Corgi is the most suitable of them all. These are favorite dogs for walking in nature and hiking. They weigh around 10 to 15 kilograms. This small breed is easily trained for the majority of people because it's a herding dog. Corgi needs exercise, but even short walks are enough. A great convenience is that Corgi has minimal cleaning needs. The Queen of England, Elizabeth II, owned more than 30 corgi dogs. In the beginning, they used to sleep together, but the Queen forbade this because they snored. Pugs love sleeping as well. They can even sleep 14 hours a day when they see there's nothing to do. But don't think they're lazy. If he finds something interesting, you'll get more tired than him. These dogs love food, even when they aren't hungry at all. They'll eat just because they might smell something delicious. The wife of Napoleon Bonaparte, Josephine, had a dog called Fortune. She loved this dog so much she couldn't sleep without him. It's said that when Napoleon entered in Josephine's room the first night of their wedding, her jealous dog bit his leg. After this night, Napoleon saw Fortune as a rival. In comparison with pugs, poodles are not that jealous. These dogs are faithful and loving friends. They learn fast and are adaptable to every kind of family. Poodle is one of the smartest and popular dogs amongst all dog breeds. The best is they have three versions, toy poodle, miniature poodle, and standard poodle. Basic daily walks are enough for them. They should be professionally sheared every one or two months, but otherwise it's easy to take care of them. Elvis Presley was a big fan of this breed. He had some poodles during his lifetime and usually gave them as presents to his girlfriends. Miniature Schnauzer would be a good present idea too. These dogs require minimal maintenance. They don't shed much and don't need a lot of cleaning. Their small and compact size makes it easy to transport them and take them on walks. Miniature Schnauzers have a longer lifespan than most dogs, living almost 12 years. They are an energetic breed that likes to follow after something or play with a ball. Bob and Elizabeth Dole are known for their love of miniature Schnauzers, and this has been proven when they organized a birthday party for their Schnauzer leader. For this 13-year-old dog, they invited 16 dog friends and they took the whole control of the house. One of the guests certainly was a Yorkshire Terrier. Although the smallest one of all, these dogs are extremely self-confident. Even bears seem to be small prey for them. Yorkies usually weigh 10 kilograms, and this makes them more suitable for seniors to carry and hold them on their laps. Yorkies are intelligent, people-pleasing, and very easily trainable. Besides, this dog is one of the best watchdogs, and this gives you at least a feeling of safety. Their hair is similar to human hair, making the cleaning an easy routine to manage. An American soldier during the Second World War found a Yorkshire Terrier. He named him Smokey, and this dog became a war hero. In the beginning, Smokey used to visit wounded American soldiers, becoming one of the first therapy dogs. Later, he advanced. He connected communication lines between military points. Maltese are small dogs as well. They weigh around three to four kilograms. And that makes them very suitable. They're intelligent, active, and gentle. They're often used as therapy dogs. 
They don't need a lot of exercise, but enjoy short walks. Marilyn Monroe had a Maltese, a gift from Frank Sinatra. Marilyn named him Mob as a humoristic reference to Sinatra's relationship with the Mafia. Although Moff lived much longer than Marilyn, he tragically lost his life when a car crushed him. Just as small as a Maltese, Havanese dogs are a great companion for seniors that can't walk very often. They're very smart and easily trainable. They can be used as a therapy dog as well. Usually they're happy dogs and like to take the spotlight. They don't require a lot of training and rarely bark. Their popularity grew even more because of Barbara Walters. In 2006, she declared that her dog talks. The most favorite dog breed by Americans, the Labrador Retriever, is an ideal companion for everyone. This breed is known for its friendly personality, and it's especially suitable if your house has a lot of guests. You'll never have to worry for bad behavior. As proof of their love, Labrador Retrievers greet the guests with a face licking. In 2002, a Labrador named Endel received a PDSA gold medal. When his disabled owner fainted, Endel covered him with a blanket, took his phone, and went to the neighbors to call for help. Thus, he saved his owner's life. Just as good as Labradors, Golden Doodles can come in different sizes. These adorable dogs have soft clothing and look like teddy bears. They aren't completely hypoallergenic, but people with dog allergies can live with them without taking medications. Also, this breed has various colors. Until the 90s, Golden Doodle breed didn't exist. These dogs are a crossbreed between Golden Retrievers and Poodles. These two breeds had traits that were believed to be liked by people if combined in a single dog. Another interesting breed is French Bulldog. This is a happy dog with whom you'll never get bored. They can weigh up to 13 kilograms, but you won't have a problem managing that. Although he has too much energy, he's passive, therefore is considered to be one of the most suitable dogs for seniors. French Bulldog is ideal for immobile seniors and for those who have limited space. A man called Robert W. Daniel brought his dog during his trip on the Titanic. The two-year-old dog named Gammon de Picombe was not an ordinary dog, he was a champion show dog. Daniel survived the disaster and lived until 1940, however, Gammon was unlucky. The last time he was seen, he was helplessly trying to swim in the icy water. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to feed them. See ya. Summertime, summertime, love's in his prime. Summertime, summertime, everything's just fine.